thanks for coming to speak to us. Obviously the boys have been training and getting ready to uh, go off to Dubai this morning and that. Um, how's everything going? Yeah, it's gone well. Um, it's just part of the, the stages that you go through, isn't it? You've got out, we've got from the indoor school bit to a little bit of time on grass. See, the weather's been kind, so managed to go on grass. The groundsman's done us brilliantly to get you uh, outside on good surfaces so early. And obviously now we go to Dubai to hopefully have guaranteed sunshine and good surfaces and, and some match practice. And the guys are going away on, a, on the pre-season tour to Dubai and obviously at the, at the, just at this time of year it is a quite a poignant moment because it's 10 years since the passing of uh, Umar Rashid and Burhan Rashid on the uh, Grenada tour in 2002. I mean, what are your mem memories of that whole period? Well, crikey. I, I mean, uh, first of all, it's incredible, isn't it, in 10 years? And um, the facts of the matter as well, isn't it, that I think the start of that, that season when we all got back home, etc., we... We started the, the new season at the Oval, and they just lost as a club lost Ben Hollyoak. I think I, I think it might have been just before we lost Umar, uh, and um, the broke that news got broke to us around the pool, and that, that Ben Hollyoak had died in a car crash tragically. Obviously, we found out about Ooms, and then we came back and we played Surrey, bizarrely in the first game of the season at the Oval, um, with both clubs having lost, just recently lost a player, and then. As fate would have it, ten years on, uh, where do we start? We start at the Oval. Indeed, and I mean Umar um, as a character and a player. I mean, what are your memories of him? Say first, as a, as a character, as a person around the dressing room, and that. But he's um, look, he was a, everybody's friend. Umar, he has that ability where I think um, everybody in the squad would have felt they were quite had a, quite a good close relationship with with Umar. He had that ability to make everybody feel like you were his best friend. Certainly, I felt that, felt that too, and I think if you interviewed a lot of the players, you would find the same type of responses. And obviously, as a, as a pl as a player, and and that he was, it was, it was not only I mean, sad obviously the events, but at that time he was just maybe coming through with the club. And previous season, he put a couple of really good performances in to win his games. I mean, tragic mm -hmm. he's lost, but obviously the tragic loss of his ability just at that time. I think first of all, it's a loss of a son to to a family. Um, but from a cricket point of view, as you say, was I know he was a good cricketer. He was a dangerous batter, good at you know around that six seven spot. Um, uh, and as I say, he was maturing cricketer as as well. So it was all in front of him. And as I say, to have his life taken away like that, it's it's you know it's tragic. But for for cricket, for for Sussex, but most importantly for his family, because as I said they lost two sons in one go. And you know you look back to a pre-season tour, like you just said, we were. You know, we're going to um, Dubai to, um, later today, but at that time we were in Grenada and we'd got a day off. And um, Pete had granted us a day off in between games. Ooms's brother had come to see him and they went off on the trip. And as I say, we were all around the pool when I think it was Richard Montgomery took the phone call. Um, and with the news that there had been a tragic, um, well, tragic accident. And I mean, I mean, as a as a as a person around the dressing room, he was he was definitely a man who provided the laughs. I mean, do you have any personal memories or any funny memories of him around the dressing room? Um, not really. Ooms was he was always on the on the verge of a disaster. You know, he was very laid back and very last minute. So he was always making those little mistakes. I mean, I was a player with Ooms. It was my first year as a coach on that trip in Grenada, as assistant to Pete, and uh, I was a player with Ooms. So you sort of. He gave you a great sense of amusement because he was always very positive um, and he said he was always probably cocking up a little bit, which as a player is quite amusing. When you're the coach, it's probably not quite as amusing. But um, look, we just, we're looking back now, as you say, we can't believe it's 10 years and um, the club has been very good. We've remembered the occasion every single, well, April the 1st. We've always had a minute's silence, a minute's remembrance and... Ten years now, it's just very poignant, and obviously it's great. I think that the club has, you know, been in touch with the family to invite them down and give all the supporters, all the, all the players, all the office staff from that time who who's played a special part and a chance to get together and say to celebrate his life and just hope as many supporters could come. And yes, you're speaking of this this opportunity to celebrate Umar's life ten years on, and that that's going to be on the the second day of the pre-season uh, match against Hampshire. Yeah, we've got a few words said at the, the lunchtime on the Sunday of, of the Hampshire game. Uh, as I say, we're inviting all the family down, all the players and 
coaching staff from that time. I know one or two of them, like I'm assuming Chris Adams and Pete Moores, will be busy with their own counties. But I know people like um, you know Robin Martin Jenkins are going to be there. There's many players, as I say, and also people like Raj Rayo, who played Basuda once. You know some of the lesser known people, but you know John Balsh, who was the, the sponsor from that time. To as I say, supporters who remember Ooms as a player, and as I say, he's a Sussex player. To to you know to lose his his life, as I say, while trying to save the life of his brother as well. You know, some of the poor mum and dad lost say two sons in one go. As I say, trying to save his brother. You know, it's tragic and needs to be remembered. And as I say, celebrate the time we did have with Ooms.